So this is our new rabbit, Buckley. We've had him about a week or a few days. His little name tag, Buckley. How's it doing, Buckley? Move around. He's hopping, so I guess. We got some tin roofing, but it's just kind of. I haven't attached it yet because I thought that maybe uh, it would get too hot. Hey, boy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Oh, we're just going to put you in the bun it's okay. run. It's okay. We're just going to put you in the little bun run. Yeah. Oh. oh. They're skittish little creatures. They are. You going to clean your face again? Okay, apparently we got to do... We gotta do hide and seek first. He likes to play this game and let you close the gate, then he comes out. Maybe he's camera shy. Cool. This is when they uh, clean their show. Oh. Okay. Hey. Little bowl here. He just eats his hay, but I put the little treats in there, put his pellets in there. Supposed to put lettuce and stuff up in this little rack. In a water dish, a water bottle. It's a little nice to take care of, ain't that right, Buckley? Ain't that right, Buckley? Let's try this again. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera off right now and then we'll pick back up here in a second. Buckley. Now we got him in the little bone line. My God, we just set him down and he's already down to it. Yep. Making uh, fertilizer. So uh, I want to get a bigger one of these so he has more space to run around in. But no, this is just temporary. This would be like a little tractor, you know. You could sit there and let him graze. Of course, you can leave him unattended. He might dig out and burrow out. But, um, well, let's just sit there and he'll mow the grass for me and re-fertilize it and then we'll uh, just move it up another little notch. Uh, it would take forever to mow the grass with this one little rabbit, but if you had multiples, it probably wouldn't take that long. Well, he seems to do a fair job of the squares he's been on. Yeah. You can uh, let him out there for like an hour or two and then when we put him back in the hutch, move this, you can definitely see where looks like it's finally mowed like somebody just mowed this little section and stopped you like that fresh grass Buckley this isn't a whole lot of run space right now it gives them a chance to get out and get some fresh greens and it gives us a chance to clean out the, uh, the hutch area. He don't like us to clean it and do maintenance while he's in there. So we gotta distract him for a while while getting exercise. So what better way? Not a lot to say right now. I just kinda wanted to show off my new rabbit to learn things and we'll make more videos. We're gonna have to build another one of these little rabbitats here. Caught the rabbitat. Um, because I do want to give him a girlfriend soon. This is the cutest rabbit in the world. In the and world. Slug and snuggly. Yes, he's very soft. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> But uh, we'll definitely make a video when we build this uh, second hutch. Uh, it was very frustrating. Probably make a funny video, but you yeah, know, hopefully it was we'll... really frustrating. Well, hopefully we learn from it, and the second one won't be so bad. Uh, we'll make a step-by-step -step video for anybody making one at home, uh, yeah. so you can learn from our mistakes. You know? Yeah, a step-by-step -step video. Mm -hmm. uh, this tan roof keeps him safe from him, and from the rain and the snow. Yes and thunderstorms, and if you also want to feed him lettuce, it's okay. This rabbit loves lettuce. Mm -hmm. 
those leafy greens. Every leafy green. If you're a rabbit, you should feed them about 80% uh, hay and feed them some pellets. Yeah. Some leafy greens. Yeah. And then you can feed them 80 treats. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give them too much spinach. We noticed the urine was getting kind of red, so we kind of laid back on the spinach. Not sure where that's what it was. It could have been the tomato, a little piece of tomato we gave him. It could have been a little piece of watermelon we gave him. Th those aren't, well, the watermelon was after, but. And uh, these he ones. is really cute. You mm -hmm. can check yes, them down the other half. The tomatoes really and watermelon cute. aren't something you want to give the rabbit all the time, but just a little piece here and there mm. for yeah. a treat. And here is how you build this. You have three, four pieces of this. And then just stick them all together. Mm -hmm. See? And then you can make a bunny run. Yeah, bun run. Well, more like a bunny playpen right now. Yeah, yeah it's just like a little playpen now. We're going to get a longer one so he actually has room to run, per se. And also, if you want to move the bunny hutch downstairs, you can use this and take him in it. You can see it has a bit of hay for a little lunch. Mm -hmm. We should add a little bit of food and water in there, too. Mm -hmm. So then he has well, we don't ever keep him in there very long. Yeah. Water. I mean, in case he gets hungry on the down. Got kind of cold last week. We had a frost, like I mentioned. We've only had him a little over a week, and yeah. I seriously didn't think we we're gonna have to worry about keeping him warm yet. So uh, I don't know. Rabbits that think can tolerate the cold a little better than they can hot, but we we had to just bring the little. We we you know we panicked and we brought the little guy inside for a few nights because it was really cold. It was nice inside. Yeah. He liked it there. Yeah. Keep an eye on him better, but and he does seem to be much happier outside. And viewers, if you have a pet rabbit downstairs and you keep him down there, look down and check around and to see if you have any bunny poop. So I did once. You gotta make it sure. It was really shoes. gross. Yep, you gotta make sure you wear shoes. You're gonna be barefoot. Definitely watch your step. It's not the worst thing in the world. I picked it up with my bare hands before. You just, you know, wash your hands later, but it doesn't smell. It doesn't. Uh, cool. Yeah, I'll never eat cocoa puffs again, though. It just kind of looks like you're handling cocoa puffs. Um, you know. might, ruin, also, might ruin your favorite cereal for you. I don't know. And. Uh, he also can, if you tame him, trick him, if you do give him a, like a tree, he will stand up for it. Yeah, we're trying to teach Buckley tricks. We can tell him to stand tall. Stand tall. Yeah, stand up, but then you gotta give him something or he's gonna be like, oh, you tricked me. So we are back. All right, well. gonna end the video there but I just figured I'd bring it up and show some of the hutch design. Alright well again Matt at the Rabbitat I'm signing off. Peace.